for this video. Today I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 15 Pro. I am a fashion, beauty and lifestyle channel so this is a new type of video from me. Let me know if you'd like more of these like tech videos. But I just got the iPhone 15 Pro in the black titanium. This one is the 512 gigabyte one which is the most amount of storage I've ever owned in a phone. So I'm super keen for that because I am a content creator so I blow through the storage. I upgraded from the iPhone 12 Pro, which was only a 256 gigabyte phone, to this bad boy. And I'm changing colors. I have never owned a black phone, apart from like the very first iPhone. It was the last black iPhone in the whole store. Like there was only this one and the blue titanium, but I thought I'd go with the black. There's a whole story behind why I need to upgrade my phone. I had a little spontaneous visit to Apple yesterday because my beautiful 12 Pro was out of storage. And it was really weird because I had upgraded from the two terabyte iPad to the six terabyte. And for some reason it was still telling me that my phone was out of storage, even though I offloaded everything to iPad. So I used to have a hundred thousand photos and videos on this phone and it was still fine with my 256 gigs But then for some weird reason, so I offloaded all those photos Then I only had 2,000 photos and videos on this phone, but that was taking up 250 gigabytes So I brought it into Apple and went to the Genius Bar and I had three people look at my phone But no one could come up with a solution and they said that they've never seen anything like this before So if you have that issue, please comment down below. Hopefully I'm not the only one. It's so weird otherwise I probably wouldn't have thought about getting the iPhone 15 Pro but from what I've heard it has a really great camera it's got like faster upload speeds and all that it's got a completely new different design and it's got the action button so it's a huge change I'm gonna be sad to let this one go not gonna lie I'm also gonna trade this one in so that's how I'm gonna like get a bit of a sweeter deal for myself okay first of all the box is completely different like they don't wrap it in plastic anymore like it's been a long time since I've ever unboxed an Apple product ah! A 15 Pro! I'm so happy! I have like emotional attachment to this iPhone 12 Pro because this is the first phone that I managed to get for myself with my own money. Now I'm gonna unbox this one. It's so fresh and new! Oh my god, she's beautiful! So this is what's in the box. We've got the USB-C cable, which if you get a closer look at it, it's completely different from the other cables from Apple. It reminds me of those wires that you would attach yourself to when you go like flying fox or like the giant swing. Like I'm totally referring to school camp right now. It feels more rough, so it's not a smooth surface. Hopefully that means that the wires aren't as fragile and they won't break. Okay, enough about the wires. Then I've just got this designed by Apple. You know what used to be here? Headphones. We've got like some pin for the sim. Cute little Apple sticker. Then, oh cute, like a manual or something. I don't know. I don't really look at this stuff. This is going to be the most satisfying part. Get ready for it. setting up my iPhone part. So look how pretty the screen is already with the wallpaper. And then you know what I'm noticing? The screen goes all the way up and around the edges. Now it's saying you can customize the appearance, which I've never heard of before. Like with the iPhone 12 Pro, I don't think I remember anything about the screen. Just to see what it's all about, I'm gonna see what medium looks like. So I popped it on medium. Let's try large. Large is a bit bigger. I'm gonna stick with default. So I'm up to this quick start part now. I think it's looking for this phone. Wait, this is so cool. So I remember this part. It's really easy to set it up. Hopefully I'm not jinxing myself. And I can just like select continue and then it'll like sync up together. I have work in an hour and I'm like, is that gonna be enough time? This is what I'm up to right now. What's going on? two 
options now where I can download from iCloud or transfer from iPhone. I'm not too sure which one to choose and if it will make a difference. I am going to do transfer from iPhone. I've also heard other people recommend that when setting up your new iPhone, it is always best to update to the latest software. So that's what I'm gonna do. It already feels so like sleek to hold. I don't know if I'm just hungry or like I associate things with food and it reminds me of a chocolate bar. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I didn't have time to finish setting up my iPhone yesterday because I had to rush to work and it literally just finished syncing my phone to the new iPhone 15 Pro when I had to leave. So I was like, screw it, screw it out the door. Anyways, it's done now and oh my gosh, that was so quick. I feel like that was the quickest it's ever synced together. It only took half an hour to sync all this data into this phone, which was awesome. But now I thought we could just finish setting it up together. It's so beautiful. I can't stop looking at it. I'm so excited to use it and test out the camera because I can already notice that it's so much bigger. Anyways, this is what my phone looks like now. It is time to set up the action button. I think I'm going to choose to use the action button for the camera because that's the most used thing I use my iPhone for. I finished setting up the action button. That was super quick and super easy to do. Now it's just waiting for like all the apps and stuff to finish downloading. But right now I am going to see what the difference between the camera is. I am so keen to see how this camera looks and try it out for myself. Probably it's like really detailed and all that. Let's just have a look. Let's test it right now. Wow, that's cool. Cause in my 12 Pro you couldn't do that. You have to switch to straight portrait mode. In the camera, you can already see there's like 0.5, 1, 2, and 3. So it gives you three different zoom lengths which my 12 didn't have my 12 just had the 0.5 the 1 and the 2 okay let's test it out let's try and take a selfie let me compare with my 12 pro interesting already by looking at the photos i feel like the 12 pro is brighter and looks a little bit more saturated whereas the 15 pro it's like cool tone the 15 pro can you see that also i feel like it's way more detailed so it's gonna really focus on my pimples you can really see the detail more in the 15 pro i'm gonna go take a picture of scenery using the back camera and see how that plays out just a quick little comparison i just took the exact same I'm quite proud of the fact that they're almost identical these shots again it's like the same thing i feel like the 15 pro is much more crisp with the detail and it's more like cool tone. This will be so interesting. I'm gonna go outside, shoot some about nature content, see if it's any different because right now it is quite a gloomy day. All right, so I'm just looking at the videos I took in selfie mode and I'm definitely noticing that it is much more cool toned in the iPhone 15 Pro and I feel like I look a little paler. Apart from the colors, I feel like the quality low-key looks the same. And then I took a video in 4K 60 frames with the back camera and I can definitely see the difference there okay so the 15 pros quality is like way better it is so crisp it's like crisper than my own eyesight and you guys don't know but my eyesight sucks i got contacts in and then you know what else made me realize about the camera function is that it can zoom up to times 15. the iphone 12 can only zoom to times 10. the zoom is so so clear and for photos it goes to 15 for videos it goes to 9 my room is like a bit messy do we see how clear that is i still definitely need to get the hang of playing around with the iphone 15 pro but i'm so excited to use it let's do a physical comparison of the iphone 12 pro versus the iphone 15 pro oh my god it's doing that Bing! What? That's so cool. This right here, I've got a glass screen protector on. It's got like a crack through the middle. I have no idea how I got that, but at least it's on the glass screen protector and not the actual screen phone. They are the exact same 
size which I love because then I don't have to get used to holding like a bigger phone you can see at the top the screen here is completely different this one goes all the way up here and this one cuts off there the ringer is gone on the 15 Pro and instead it's got the action button on the 15 Pro the sim card thing is placed higher also on this side this on off button is a little bit lower now for the back of the beautiful iPhone straight away I can already see that the camera here is huge I thought this one looked like boba you know like the drink this one is way bigger and it's a bit more raised this one is smaller and not as raised so like when you put it down the table it's kind of like more flat because this one's a bit chunky which is why I would feel way safer with the case here in terms of thickness I feel like they're the exact same in terms of weight they feel so similar also I forgot to mention but this one has a USB-C port I forgot what this one has but they're different I have to head back into Apple soon to get this one a case and screen protector and then trade this one in so everybody say goodbye to my beautiful iPhone 12 Pro My new phone case on this is the case I got it's a MagSafe case and it's got a little pink detailing which I love and this is my phone case oh my gosh now it feels so nice and protected I'm so happy with it Loki giving black pink vibes okay now I can like use it properly because before I was just too afraid to use it in case I got a scratch on the phone that would lead to heartbreak here she is all right you guys that's it from me I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video it is quite different content for me because I don't usually do tech but with the new iPhone how could I not it's gonna be so fun to play around with so if you want I could do like a phone tour later on are you gonna be getting the iPhone 15 if so let me know which one the pro or the max and let me know which color you're gonna get down in the comments below I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye